The idea that having more police to increase security across the nation is a false premise that a lot of people operate under. The numbers show that we're less secure now than ever before. The reality is government is becoming too big to control. We're just feeding the empire building, agency budgets, and job security for various law enforcement agencies. Random government agents are arbitrarily seizing people and forcing them to prove their innocence upon demand. This behavior by various law enforcement agencies shouldn't be tolerated by a free people. And that's you. When you have too many police, they'll get bored. When that happens, they go out and look for someone to make a criminal out of. Someone that hasn't committed a crime yet, as you'll see in this video. Pay attention. Like, I got to record this, bro. Like, this makes absolutely no sense, bro. Good morning. How are you, sir? Deputy Snell with the Sampson County Sheriff's Office. You got your license and registration on you? I do. Okay. All right, may I ask what the stop is for, sir? I'll let you know as soon as you uh, give me your ID. You, Who you work for there? Your your shirt? Delmar Oil Company. Delmar Oil Company? Yes, sir. Okay. How long you been there? May I ask why that is? Well, really? I'm just talking to you. I see your shirt there. I'm just asking. Is it is it is it wrong to ask you questions about where you work? Well, I'm just trying to figure out what that has to do with the with the stop. Okay. All right. Well, if you don't want you know just casual conversation, that's fine. Got Since I got you stopped here, you're driving 65 and you you know speed limit seven. I'm just wondering what's wrong. I mean, are you okay? I want to point something out other than the obvious voice change and the uncontrollable anger that the officer spewed. Um, but what I want to point out is how officers demand these things: searching your vehicle personal information where do you work how long have you worked there and in reality we don't nobody has to answer any of those questions but the problem is is when someone decides not to answer those questions the officers get very angry just like in this situation about where you work well i'm just trying to figure out what that has to do with the, with the stop okay all right well if you don't want you know just casual conversation that's fine got since i got you stopped here you're driving 65 and you you know speed limit seven i'm just wondering what's wrong i mean are you okay other than, I mean, are you, I mean, you okay? I mean, you ain't traveling five miles below the speed limit. Is yes, a sir. Reason. I'm just checking on you. That's all I'm doing. Okay. Yes, sir. You good? I'm great. Awesome. How are you? I'm I'm doing better than I deserve. You know. Uh, you got the uh, paperwork for the vehicle? It's actually a rental car. The only uh, paperwork that I have is via email. It's what? A rental car. I, but what were you saying about something? You said something right after that. The only paperwork they give you is uh, via email. Okay. You pull it up digitally? I can. Okay. How long you got it for? Uh, until I decide to take it back. Oh, okay. They, they don't have like a scheduled day to return it? Uh, they do, but um, unfortunately for my schedule right now, it's on, I'm not able to. Still live in Clayton? I do. Okay. What's Pungo Court off of? Uh, it's off of Seven. All right, there you go. It was due back yesterday at two thirty. Young. Um, okay. Okay. Where are you coming from now? Where am I coming from? Yes, sir. Goldsboro. Goldsboro. Is that where the office is? I'm, I'm trying to understand what, what, what's, what's the relation. Do what? To, I'm trying to understand the relation to the traffic stop. Well, I'm just trying to figure out where you're coming from, where you're going, mess like that. So I have to identify where I'm traveling to and from during the traffic stop. All right, stop. hang tight here just a minute, buddy. I don't understand. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like. Yeah, then you telling me I gotta identify to you where I going to and coming from. Like that don't make sense, bro. What the fuck is you talking about, bro? And I'm really about to record that boy, like. Yeah, like and then and then shit in here, bro. Ain't nothing in here, so I'm not worried about that. But this shit is ridiculous, man. I'm tired of it. Every time I come down here, them boy do that shit. 
every time I come down. And then I could have tell how he jumped behind me, like, bro, you tripping. You tripping, my nigga. Like, you tripping, dog. I don't understand. Word, this man wrote me a ticket, bro. Like, what, you, what could you possibly have wrote me a ticket for? Yeah, yes, sir. There. This here's a warning, okay? No court date, no fine, nothing like that. You can throw this paper away when you get to the house. Ain't nothing to really worry about, all right? Okay, what was the warning for? All right. Have a good day, all what right? What was the warning for, sir? He didn't even say what a warning been for, bro. Traveling under the speed limit, okay? Well, how far? How, how you fast were traveling. You say? What you say is kind of suspicious to travel under the speed limit when the well, speed limit is seventy. Well, from my speed limit, I was traveling I'm not, at 60, I'm not, about listen, sixty-eight. I'm not going to argue. I got stuff to do, okay? I, have I, a good I, I day. I did too when you stopped hey, me, so I'm trying to hey, understand. I'm trying to have a good so I don't make the same infraction. I'm trying to understand it. Okay. Continue on with your day.